I think with the latest spring update, it's now possible to make the craziest kind of roller coasters. And the reason for that is because we can now play springs that are crazy strong. For example, this spring right here, which can hold up a hundred thousand metal blocks. Now, of course, to build a roller coaster, you don't need to be able to hold this much weight. But one thing that we can now do that was impossible before is use these extremely strong springs to actually hold onto track. So that way, this entire thing can never fall off. Now, this right here does not look very impressive, but the moment we flip this entire thing on its side, I'm pretty sure this should still hold. An anchor? Uh, uh oh. I think we gotta grip it even harder. If you make sure everything is done just right, you can actually get this thing to write up walls. Now, that right there is gonna be the perfect mechanic for a roller coaster. And lucky for me, I still had these laying around, which are gonna be perfect for what we're building today. But currently, these guys don't do anything at all. I mean, they literally just stand here, so we're gonna have to start working on the mechanics. So first off, let's make sure that these tracks actually stay together. Now, in the past, this was very difficult, but all we have to do now is simply use a bar. So there you go. With that, all of our carts are connected. Now, the next part is going to be a little bit more difficult because we got to make sure that we can clamp these tracks with as much force as humanly possible. And for that, we only have one slight problem, and that is that these wheels right here are absolutely massive. And at the very least, we would be that far away from the track, which would honestly look absolutely atrocious. So actually, I have a bit of an idea. We're actually going to place these right next to the cart like this. Also, we're only going to place a single wheel per cart, so that way it is way less likely to break. All right, there we go. <laughs> Actually, I think I need these to be a little bit further away still. There you go. And of course, because we actually want to clamp the track itself, we're going to need a second pair of these. Just like that. So there's going to be one on each side, just like so. And actually, you know what? I think I can place these inside of the wheels, just like that. I don't think that should break anything. Let me quickly make sure I can still spin these wheels. Uh oh, we can't spin them anymore. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to move these out just a little bit. All right, there we go. And now they actually work. And you know what? I actually think I'm going to make the tracks a little bit skinnier just because that way they look a lot better. All right, now for the spring settings, we're going to have to make these insanely strong. So I'm literally going to set them to 150,000 stiffness. Oh my God, wait, actually that might be too much. <laughs> Let's go with 50,000. Okay, that looks a little bit more normal. And we're also gonna have to lower the target length. And I think I'm gonna set this to like, a, I think two and a half should be perfect. And then I'm gonna set the max length to three and the minimum length to two. So that way there is a little bit of wiggle room. And actually, I don't know why I even still have these parts down here. Uh, we definitely don't need these. Oh, I deleted the floor. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to take these mechanics right here and duplicate them to every single cart just to see if this works at all. All right, let's see if this is going to work at all, because if it's going to fill right here, we're going to have some serious problems. Okay, so far, so... uh, Okay, it looks like we are actually clamping these a little bit too hard, because yeah, those wheels are literally touching. Target length three? Yeah, I think we got to do target length three. So time to change all of these settings. 2.5. Okay, there we go. Now let's try that one more time. Okay, there we go. They're actually on the track. Now, currently... There isn't really anything that is holding these in place, but I think that should be fine for now. Let's try to roll these. <laughs> oh, oh, why look at that. Okay, wait, okay, well, <laughs> we, we don't really have a proper track yet, but those are working insanely well together. Okay, let's make sure they actually stay on the tracks because currently they can roll off whenever they want, which would be a little bit of a problem if you were on the card. So currently these are 0.5 away from the actual card itself. So you know what? We're actually going to move these even closer. So that way they are barely not touching the cart. And we're going to add a part down here. Just so that way nothing can fall off. See, well, you know what? We, I think we could just skill the original part. And actually, I think we might have to use ice for that. And oh, wait, there is a serious problem right now. And that is that if we wanted to do a turn, we actually couldn't because everything is just too tight. So it looks like we are actually going to have to get a little bit clever. All right, so to do this, we're going to use some ice at a 45 degree angle. So that way it's also as little friction as possible. All right, there we go. And I think that should actually do. All right, so for our very first challenge, let's see if we can actually go around a turn. All right, so here we go. This is going to be our first challenge. And this right here is just a simple 90 degree turn. It should be honestly pretty easy. And if it can't do this, we might be into some serious trouble. All right, let's see. Drop all the cards. Uh, all of the ice fell. Why did the ice fall? Okay, this time it stayed. Okay, this time it stayed. Okay, I think we'll be good. I think all we got to do is just simply drive now. And I hope that... Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Are these the problem? No, I don't think so. Wait, why is it not going around the corner? I think maybe the ice is just a little bit too tight. Oh my God, I think I figured out what the problem was. So before, both of these wheels were actually rotating in the same direction, but you actually want them to be rotating in opposite directions. So right now, the bottom ones have reverse spin and... How about a boom? Look, it's doing a thing! Now, 
I think because the cards have collision on right now, we're having some problems. So I'm going to turn off collision on all the cards and see if it actually works now. Oh my God. A little bit of troubleshooting later. And dude, that is looking absolutely insane. I don't think I've ever seen a roller coaster move that well, dude. Are you kidding me? Now, the only thing I changed is that I now added like two pieces of ice here on the side. So that way it just clamps a little bit harder on both sides. So that way it it can't go off the tracks. Just having the ice in the middle was not enough. And dude, that right there is looking absolutely ridiculous. Now, I still don't really know exactly if this thing can climb up though. So that's gonna have to be what we test next. All right, farewell to this part. Uh, you can go. So you know what? Let's build a loop. All right, here we go. I think all we have to do now is a little bit of duping. And there it is, baby. That right there is gonna be our loop. Now, I want to make sure that this thing works as well as it possibly can. So what I'm actually going to do is make this like the most difficult stress test for a roller coaster you could possibly think of. So first off, we're going to make the entire track go perfectly vertical, just like so. And actually, we'll make sure that we're going vertical for quite a while. Something like so. <laughs> Wait, this is how long? 70. Okay, we'll, we'll make this like a perfect square, I guess. <laughs> All right, then we'll go for another turn. And then all we got to do now is just simply mirror this to the other side. There you go. Okay. All right, let's see if this is actually going to be possible. Now, I'm actually, I'm a little bit worried because this right here, if it is possible, this is absolutely insane. I don't think I've ever seen a roller coaster do this. So okay, we're going to first just go vertical. Oh my God, dude. Look at that. It is literally on the side. And it, like, I, I'm not touching the keyboard right now. It is just holding there. Are you kidding me? This is the first time I've ever seen a roller coaster that could just simply stop wherever it, it wants to. Like, right there, just stop it. Like, what? Dude, we're gonna have to load this thing with some players. <laughs> hey, everybody. I make epic roller coaster. Anyone want to try? You know what? I don't think they're going to be too interested until I actually load it in because it looks very sick. Bro, look at this thing, man. This thing looks so cool. Oh, we got a guy. Let's go. Izod. Wait, 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 wait. There's a bunch of people wanting to join. Let wait, why is there multiple May Izods? <laughs> okay, wait. We're going to have to load it in or they're going to leave. I'm not the yellow May Izod. Who is the yellow May Izod? <laughs> oh, it's his friend. <laughs> All right. You want to ride? Now, I have no idea if this is going to work with other players, but I really hope it does. Okay, we, we got one guy on. Oh, boy. An anchor. Wait, why is it already? Oh, wait, I'm already. Pre ah, I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> dude, let's go. Look at us. We're literally hanging upside down. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? This is working so well. Oh, my Lord. Dude, I would have never thought that this is possible in build about dude. This is so cool. And you know what? I'm just going to leave this guy going and make him very dizzy. 